request Pastor Monica to begin the session with prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you all. And thank you to the Lord that uh, by the grace of God, we are connected again together this morning. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. And Lord, we bring our thanksgiving, Lord. Thanks to you, Lord, that you have given us this wonderful opportunity to, to read the to learn the most holy language, your language, Lord. Yes. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit to teach her. We cannot do anything at our own. It's your spirit, Lord. It's your Holy Spirit. I pray that your Holy Spirit is going to touch each one of us. Lord, Holy Spirit is going to anoint Brother Rahul double portion so that yes. his cup overflows and we receive that overflow of this <laughs> blessing, Lord. Lord, I bless every participant right now. Holy Spirit, touch them, touch us so that, Lord, we can read, we can learn the way you want to learn teach us, Lord. Let this language be engraved in our hearts. In our hearts, we yes. ask even Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Boker to to all those are in Canada and uh, Irev to, to all those are in India. Ma Shalom Kha. Shalom Akha. Laura. Shalom. Ma Shalom Mek. Laura. Laura. Okay, I'm seeing, hearing two, three Lauras. Okay. No meorto. Okay. Laura. Let's go to. Again, this session. Okay, repeat after me. Aleph. 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 Beth. 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 Gema. 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 Dalek. 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 Hey. 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 Wow. 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 Sign. Sign. Cat. 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 Yod. Yod, Kaf, Kaf, Lamet, Mem, Mem, Moon, Samek, Samet, Ain, 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 Pe, 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 Sare, 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 Resh, seen and sheen, seen and sheen, tau, tau, tau. Okay, so we have finished the alphabet. This is the fourth session on alphabet. So I think that you are very now much familiar with this alphabet. So as I told you that these alphabets are the building blocks. If you know the alphabet and its sound, half of your work is done. Uh, for memnonic devices or for memory purpose, we sing that song, alphabet song. Uh, anyone want to sing this song, alphabet song for memory purpose? Anyone? Or 
if if you not you will not okay. sing song no problem uh, you can say siri li di alphabets okay can i try to sing sir yeah yeah okay okay i start it in the name of jesus alif bat and gimal dal k and bab and sa and hit and tit and you don't cough and lamid mim nun ka lamid mim nun samak ayn P and Sade Co Foundation, Sin and Shin and Tap, Havin, Shalom, 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 Elohim. Okay, very nice, sister. Excellent. Uh, anyone want to sing this song? Yes, sir. Uh, I yeah. do not. I do not know the song, but I can say in order. Okay. No problem. Alif Bet Gimel Dalit He Wow Zain Het Tet Yod Kaf Lamad Mem Nun Samet Ayn P. Sade ko fresh sin sin tau. No, uh, you have to say uh, without sin. Can you try? Yes, yes, no, I can. Now, you, now you can try. Yeah, alif bet gimel dalit he wow zain het tet yod kafla med mem nun same kain pe sade ko fresh sin tau. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Anyone? Good. Anyone? Say this alphabets. Uh, at least, if you're not uh, getting the song, at least you know you must know the serial hmm? serial of the alphabet, and its sound also. Hmm? Aleph. It is a silent, hmm? silent letter. Then beth veth. It gives which sound? The B N Dagesh B N without Dagesh it gives V sound bat vat then Gmail it gives G, G sound in got Dalit it gives D sound in dot and Hey it gives H sound in hot so please observe these five alphabets. And its transliteration. Aleph is a silent letter. English transliteration is a apostrophe. It is a silent letter. Whichever vowel is under it, it will take that sound. A E I O U. Then bet vet. Bet in bat will give b sound, and vet in vat will give w sound. Actually, uh, this v sound. It is similar in English that that sound V H victory. If we um, pronounce victory, that V sound is attached with H W W victory. So this sound uh, in modern Hebrew they use this V sound to both Vet also and next alphabet that is Wow also. So please observe the difference between vet and wow because they give V sound. They transliterate also V. Modern Hebrew they transliterate also V, but we transliterate according to the classical biblical Hebrew that is W sound. It is w, hmm? w, not V H. It is w. Got it? Difference between vet and wow. Anyone is having any difficulty? Difference between vet, 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 and wow. Yeah. Because in modern Hebrew, you will find again and again. I'm telling that V sound only. That uh, V in vat, V H sound. But in classical biblical Hebrew, it is W, W sound, W, W. Then Zain, it gives shed sound in short Z. Khat, everybody say after me, Khat. 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 Actually, this Khat sound, it is a guttural sound and transliteration. You see under H, there is a dot, hmm? like. Her sound in bark, bark. 
then next alphabet is teth t sound in tot t and because uh, another alphabet give a clear t sound that is tau so that is clear transliteration is t but for teth under t there is a dot like under he they for he transliteration is h but for keth it is dot then yod it is y sound in s then kaf it is k sound in kit lamet it is l sound in lot although there is uh, that dot it's called dagesh in kaf it gives clear k sound whereas without dagesh there is a some distinguishing sound which gives kh like and uh, like the sound is very similar to kh when it comes at the kaf so it comes at the end of the word then that sound is kh very similar to kh then mem gives m sound m sound in mat noon it gives n sound in not samik it gives s sound in sat then ain it is also a silent letter but the it's it is silent letter but as i told you it is a guttural letter also and sometimes it gives a g g sound it is a very uh, difficult to pronounce this uh, when two gutters come close and that sound is very difficult to pronounce uh, gromora gomora so that g sound it gives so uh, technically you cannot say that it is silent letter because it gives a g sound so transliteration is reverse apostrophe then pe and fe it is a very clear distinguishing sound with dagesh that dot it is clear p sound and without dagesh it is clearly f sound or ph sound p f k p and f when you are blowing the air that p sound then sare under sare there watch that in transliteration under s there is dot it gives ts sound in bats then kof it gives q sound in queen or in quran or you can say quack then resh it gives r sound in rot seen and sheen when dot is at left hand side red one that is s i n seen and when dot is at right hand side then that is s h i n in sheen transliteration for sin it is acute accent and for shin it is circumflex towards downward and last alphabet is tau t clear t hmm. clear t in tot under t the you will find no dot because for teth transliteration there is a dot under t hmm. so without dagesh the sound is th hmm. it is like a th in theory hmm. th in theory so uh, this tau sound without dagesh is also hard to distinguish because it is actually the sound in between t and th so again and again this is my fourth session on repeating this alphabets you if you know the sound of each alphabet it will be very easy for you to read the scripture portion you can read it very fluently if you know the sound clearly now today we are going to look to the vowels uh, anyone is having any difficulties regarding this alphabets 
any difficulty regarding the alphabets, its sound. No? Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Like with with a dot or dagish, it's a uh, without with, with dot, it's hard like um, bat, and with without dot, it's v wet. Soft. Okay, without dagish, like sound is soft, and when we put dagish, that is the piercer into the bosom of the letter, then that letter is hardened. That letter okay, is like, hard. Like bat. Yeah. When we put dot, it's hard, bat. And yeah. when we don't, then it's wet. And yeah, with pay, pay and fe, like uh, pay and we put dagish with pay yeah. and without. Yeah, clear P without dagish and it is pay with, uh, without dagish it is pay and with dagish it is pay. Uh, so wanted to know the letter. Thank you. Head, Pardon? The letter head and the last letter that is tau. Yeah. Uh, there is a very similar, uh, similar, I mean, appearance that it has, except for the yeah. Yeah. One yeah. Has yeah. Uh, the If you have watched my third session, I have shown how to write each alphabet. Khet is very similar to tau only that. Uh, left hand portion is little tilted. It has an angle, a foot. I will show that slide also. And for next five to 10 minutes, we are going to read this <coughs> alphabet. And then today I'm going to start with the vowel. Okay. Can you able to see? <sighs> now, if you watch here, sister. Yes. Uh, see this last alphabet is tau. It is very similar to ket, but yes. see that tilted portion, that angle at the bottom. That is the distinguishing between ket and tet. Now I will draw alphabet and you have to recognize uh, which alphabet it is? Hmm? Now, this is which alphabet? Beth. And this is? Cuff. Cuff. I request all of you to participate. This is Yod. Yod. Everyone. Yod. Yod. Wow. This is Wow. 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 So. No cups of it. No. Non sofit. No non sofit. Non sofit. This non sofit. Okay. Cups of it. Sure. Cups of it. Cups of it. Okay. Zine. 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 Please, Zine. please observe that cup so fit and nun so fit. Yes. The line go below the box. Mm. Line go below the box. Please mute yourself if there is a background noise around you. Please, I request you. Can anyone uh, 
take the responsibility i will make you co-host and whenever you see the background noise uh, you can unmute sorry mute them Uh, this is Kat, 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 and Hey, 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 and Kat. Which Kat. one is Kat and which one is Hey? First one, right one is Kat. Left one is Hey. This broken leg yeah. is uh, Hey, 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 and this is Kat, Kat. Kat. Okay, very good. And then this. Tao. Uh, Tao. Tao. Very good. Tao. Tao. Mem. 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 Zadi Sophie. The iron. No, I. No, no. Zadi Sophie. Zadi Sophie. Zadi Sophie. Zadi Sophie. Zadi. 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 Um, this one is, is Dalit. Dalit. And this Dalit. one. And that is Go, Resh. 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 Okay. Resh. Resh and Dalit. So these these Hello. two alphabets are very confusing because please observe that here it is a right angle, but where uh, okay. this is curvy portion. Hmm? Okay. Resh and Dalit. Okay. Gimel. Yod. Yod. Video salway. Here you can cough little daughter. This one? Shin. 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 This one? Shin. Shin. Yes, I and Shin. 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 And I already shown you how to write Tao. Tao. Okay. Now, which are the um, Sofit form? Can anyone tell me seriously? Cups of it. Just one minute. Cups of it. 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 Cups of
असाइनमेंट नंबर वन is due on next next saturday your assignment number oh your assignment number 1 is due on next saturday so i request all of you to complete that assignment in that assignment you will be asked the first question is explain the importance of studying biblical hebrew so whatever importance uh, you felt you have to write then in workbook only in workbook last pages there is assignment in your workbook if you have taken the printouts in last pages uh, there are five assignments so first question is explain the importance of studying biblical hebrew that you have to explain write the origin of the term shemite you know that the shemite is derived from uh, noah hmm? that is son of noah mm-hmm. shem then briefly Sorry. describe briefly describe the five main branches of the semitic languages hmm? so only one or two line you have to write not much write in very brief first one is hebrew second akkadian then aramic then ethiopia and arabic write very uh, two or three lines then again in question d you have to write the alphabet five times there are spaces provided in your worksheet so you have to write the alphabet five times and follow the guidelines for each of the 22 alphabet letters exactly written in the boxes as i have shown you in boxes exactly like that you have to write and repeat aloud re- repeat aloud the name of each letter as you write it for example if you are writing alif then you have to write say alif if you are writing five times then alif 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 okay then next e question is memorize the alphabet already you have memorized question f is write letter sometimes have a dot called dagesh which letters have the dot dagesh can anyone tell me oh uh, bet bet sin khaf yeah. uh, okay no pen, i mean that, that pen, letter pen. is called begat ke pat say after me begat ke pat begat ke pat okay that slide i will show you hmm? then which letter have a different form when they occur at the end of the word so all the suffixes all the suffix form which letter have a different form when they occur at the end of the word write the hebrew letter you have to write only the consonant all these consonant you have to write kaf mem nun pe sare not the final form okay. only the consonant and then which letter both regular and final extend either above or below the line of writing lamed lamed go all the suffix not all the sofit not all the sofit mem sofit mem sofit mem sofit doesn't go below the line no 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 okay. all the four final form which are there kaf um, sofit nun sofit mem sofit nun sofit not mem sofit kaf sofit first one is kaf sofit then Noon sofit, pe sofit, and sade sofit. This this four final form, the line goes below the box. Now, which uh, consonant go mm. below the box? Only lamed. 
Lamid goes Lamid and Kof. 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 Yeah, Kof. Kof. Very good. Kof. 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 Kof line Kof. goes below the box. Yes, yes. And Lamid goes above. 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 Okay. Then I question is distinguish carefully between the letters which have similar form. Copy this letter carefully in the spaces provided below. So you have to write that letter again. And in bracket, you have to write, for example, first one is Beth and Kaap. Second one is Gimel and Noon. Then Dalet and Resh. Dalet and Kaap Sophie. Hey and Ket. Just I have shown you. Wow and Noon Sophie. Mem Samik. Mem Sofit Samek, Mem Sofit Teth, Ain Sade, Ain Sade Sofit, and Sheen and Seen. On which page is the assignment? Pardon? Which is the assignment? Exercise one. Exercise one. Yeah. Page three. Then, yeah, and last question is circle the letter in each group that has some major differences with the remaining letter. Describe the differences. Okay, that I will explain you afterwards. Hmm? Till here, uh, you start solving all this alphabet. Yogesh, uh, please mute yourself every time you are having noisy atmosphere around you. Now, these are the special letter. First criteria is gutter, or it is also called throaty five. Repeat after me, throaty five. Throaty five. Sister Zarina, uh, you raised your hand. Any question you want to ask? So these are the five letters, which is called guttural letter. So actually, Aleph, He, Keth, and Ain, these are the actual technically guttural letter, but Resh is not a technical guttural letter. It is sometimes called guttural. It is sometimes called guttural. Repeat after me, Aleph. And sometimes resh. Sometimes. So this gutter letter possesses three properties. First, they refuse doubling dagesh. Say after me, they refuse doubling dagesh. They prefer A class vowel. A class and they prefer compound Shiva. Now, what are the compound Shiva? I'm going to explain you in next next slides or in next lecture. So now, as on now, remember that these five letters are called throaty five, or they are called guttural because. Uh, and the technically guttural letter is Aleph, He, Keth, and Ain. Aleph, He, Keth, and Ain. And sometimes Resh. Sometimes Resh. And now you have to put these three laws in your memory because these laws take a special attention in your 
intermediate or next level study because this guttural takes a special attention when uh, they are put into the construct state the hebrew sentences so this five guttural letter first is the refuse doubling dagesh now you have seen in begat kepat letter or you have seen the dot in the bosom but these are the five letter they will never ever accept dot in their bosom so first property please make it very clear that they refuse doubling dagesh they will not accept any kind of dagesh in their bosom and they always prefer a class vowel a class vowel so they always every time they will prefer a class vowels and third is they prefer compound shiva so what is compound shiva i am going to explain you while taking the vowels got it any doubts regarding guttural um i have a question what is yeah. the what do you mean by they prefer a class vowels a class vowel in english a sound a, a sound a sound okay okay thank there you there are five vowels na in english right. a e i o u so they will prefer only a class vowel they will not prefer uh, any other vowel but after a class vowel they prefer compound shiva so what is compound shiva that i will explain while taking the vowels i have one doubt sir yeah uh, when we uh, see kaf and khat like yeah. uh, if there is dagesh in the kaf it it has the same uh, voice like k and yeah. the khat also has the same, same voice, voice. Yeah. so so correct. how to how to uh, differentiate between the two when we write or when we read it so what to write like kaf or khat what to write in between two so that is a no, no. actually uh, hebrew words are derived it, it is a three root letter word hmm? trilateral it is called trilateral word so already this words has been derived for example this malak hmm? malak so that malak the sound is that kaf sofit gives a very similar sound like khat so according to the word we have to say that sound and uh, there is hardly no distinguishing sound between this kaf sofit and khat it is a very similar sound okay thank you sir Uh, when we are taking the um, hebrew words vocabulary that time uh, you will understand better so uh, there is uh, hardly no distinguishing sound between this kath and kaf sofit when it comes at the end for example i will give you shimkha 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 means rejoice and this malak malak means king so that i am not saying malak k sound i'm saying malak that k h k k sound so that kaf sofit or without dagesh wala sound it is very similar to uh, khat sound and i have one more doubt like in tat and tau so yeah. uh, like uh, how, when we do uh, when we reach to the next next level so how to differentiate yeah. it like like uh, it is uh, we have to write or read tat or tau yeah actually tat uh, as i told you there are vocabularies hmm? and uh, for example tora tora means first five book okay for tora the consonant used is tau hmm? tau hmm? and for for terifim terifim that consonant used is tat so it both gives t sound only but their root root is different in lexicon getting me that root you will find some, in some words root you will find tat in some words root you will find tau but 
this tau as i told you it gives clear t sound and that without the gauge it gives like the sound is very hard to distinguish it is in between t and th it is in hindi or marathi like th so uh, while syllabification and when we are we are going to study the vocabulary that time it will be very clear okay thank you sir now silent letter silent letter this alf hey then wow and yo say after me alf hey alef, hey, hey wow wow and yo and yo now you know that uh, hebrew script was the consonantal script hmm? during the time of moses or uh, during uh, this phoenician script that was a consonantal script and uh, these alef he wow and yod were acting as a e i o u vowels hmm? this alef he wow and yod were acting as a a e i o u vowels so around 500 ad the group of people which is called ba ali masoret after that means that is master of tradition these people this group of people later on called masoret uh, in order to make it easy for us they have put the mass the vowel pointing vowel pointing that is dot dot two dot three dot so that dot they have put under the consonant so actually there are uh, two three people two three two three systems came uh, for putting the consonant putting the consonant for this letters so if you see uh, in your workbook it is given there are three system which first one is babylonian second one is palestine school that place the vowel pointings above and between the consonant and third one is the tiberian school tiberian school place them primarily below the consonant so we see in 10th century ad in 10th century ad when th this three system the three group of people were working but the tiberian system became predominant now we are using an uh, all the biblical script that we are reading wlc or whether it is bhs all the script is in tiberian system so we are going to study tiberian system actually we are going to study the iddish iddish people that is ashkenazi ashkenazi jew german people so they have when that uh, jews were taken into the babylonian exile they you know that from when they returned from the babel they adopted the aramic script so some group of people uh, they preserved that original pronunciation of the scripture actually there are two groups of people which is first one is sephardic and second one is iddish so this iddish people they have preserved the original pronunciation of the scriptures and that is called classical biblical script and that script we are going to study uh, and you find torah whole 39 books written in that script only or except some portion in daniel in ezra and some portion in genesis they are written in aramic script for example i will give you uh, actually this jacob jacob and his descendant they were from aramic only but uh, you know when laban laban come came uh, and met jacob so when he met uh, he actually uh, placed a pillar there and he called jacob called that taed taed ed means witness the ed means pillar of witnesses and leban leban called it 
shahaduta shahaduta actually that shahaduta means also witness but that was that was aramic language and jacob when he called taed so that ed means witness so these people uh, used both the languages aramic and uh, hebrew so we are going to learn the classical biblical hebrew script now any doubt okay so these alef he waw and yod these four letters were used as a uh, vowels in the consonant and whenever they 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 has that to take a sound they will put alef or he then for o and u class vowel they will put waw then for e class vowel they will put yod so like that this vowel were acting this consonant were acting as a vowel okay again these are the same only but for silent letter can anyone tell me why ain although it is i have shown you it is silent letter ain cannot be a silent letter yes like ain is used to uh, for reverse apostrophe yeah but why it is not silent letter see in silent letter i have shown you alf he waw yod why not i it has a dagish no just now i told you that i is <laughs> not a silent letter though although it is guttural letter but in ancient time it gave a g sound g gomora gomora yeah okay. that's why it is not a technically silent letter okay thank you then as i told you label beth mem and pe these three letters are called label say after me beth mem and pe beth mem and pe when you are taking these three letters beth mem and pe uh you can observe your lips are moving so therefore these letters are called uh letters of the lips letters of the lips beth mem and pe now these are the begat kefat letter these are the begat kefat letter and they take dagesh in their pusam without dagesh the the letter are called spiron and when the dagesh is put in the six letters begat ke pat in their name only you can you, you have to just remember this name begat ke pat say after me begat ke pat begat ke pat yeah be means bet ga means gimel d means dalet k means kaf f means pe and th means tau so in in this letter only you have to remember the six letter they are called begat kefat letter and they took dagesh in their bosom when it comes at the beginning or in the middle they took dagesh in their bosom and when dagesh comes in their bosom the letter is hardened for example vet bet vet bet for gimel dalet But for pay, this is clear distinguishing sound. This pay with dagesh and fe without dagesh. And regarding this gimel, dalet, kaf, and tau, there is some little distinguishing sound. While studying the syllabification, we are going to see that. Okay. Today I think uh, we will finish the session here. next time we are going to look directly we'll start the consonant uh, vowels we are going to start vowels next time and after studying vowel uh, you can write any hebrew word
now you know the sound you know all the sound and after studying this vowel you can start reading any any hebrew script you can read it for example i will give you just one vowel say after me pathak 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 it is it gives a a sound it is a short sound like a sound in bat a see here uh, transliteration in some types of transliteration it is clear a or the circumflex is towards downward it is a class vowel and uh, please note that if you are watching youtube videos to learn from the modern hebrew they will not distinguish any sound between pathak and comet they will say pathak they will say pathak they will say pathak but we are learning classical biblical hebrew and classical biblical hebrew clearly gives the clear distinguishing sound it gives a sound a say after me a a it is short a a okay i'm going to finish in 5 minutes uh if anyone is having any doubt uh you can watch the recorded session and even though you if you are having doubts you can ask me in whatsapp today uh, i am going to share uh, one small testimony uh, which god gave me in jan 2021 can you say after me amen salak walak yeah you cannot unmute yourself i know but without unmuting yourself you can say amen salak walak okay uh these are the blocks uh which i saw on tuesday 6 uh, you can see here uh, sorry friday 8 jan 2021 on 8 jan 2021 i got a dream uh, see if you are learning hebrew this hebrew alphabets are not a, as i told you it is not like a uh, english alphabet a b c d uh, these alphabets are itself the name is called oath means letter it means signs and wonders and this hebrew god will god may speak to many of you through this hebrew language in dreams and vision also so on friday see this is my mobile my screenshot i put here you can see where my cursor is going friday 8 jan 2021 at 2 pm in the morning 2 pm i got one dream and in that dream i saw a uh, white blocks and i am putting my hands on that white block and continuously saying amen salak walak amen salak walak amen salak walak so i uh, i immediately uh, waked up and that time i typed the message to myself amen salak walak it was walak but that time i was not knowing so i written it ulak and after 
writing that message in the morning i was very curious to know i know the meaning of amen when we finish our prayer we say amen amen we can say and i was very curious to know what are the meaning of salah khan velat lord and i started whole day i started searching the scripture portion amen salah velat and i found in what took me to the genesis chapter 39 verse 2 the lord was with joseph and he was a successful man and he was in the house of his master the egyptian now if you see hebrews scripture why yahi yave it yosef va yahi ish math saliak so that saliak means prosper in wb translation we see yave was with joseph and he was a prosperous man he was in the house of his master the egyptian so i was really shocked uh, when i got this meaning math celiac means successful prosperity uh, it it is not uh, that joseph joseph was a slave he was not having a bank balance or funds or so many the things of this world but god says that he was with joseph and he was a successful celiac when god is with you when yahweh elohim is with you he causes you to be a successful man because he says here that yahweh was with joseph and he was in the master's house he was actually slave there but still god is saying that word celiac he was a successful he was a prosperous man yusuf apne mistri swami ke ghar mein rehta tha aur yahweh uske sang tha isliye wo bhagyavan purush ho gaya ab hindi mein it makes no sense but in english it makes some sense successful or prosperous and in hebrew it is math celiac math celiac in whatever things you will put your hand on you will become prosperous it will succeed and then again in that same chapter 39 23 i read the keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under joseph's authority because the lord was with him and whatever he did yahweh made it prosper in wb translation it says yahweh made it prosper again here the word used as math celiac aser who ose yave math celiac yave math celiac now can anyone imagine that he was in prison by dwelling in prison can anyone become successful yes they can become successful if yave ea asher ea is with them it that great i am the one says that i will prove myself who i am if he is with us even though we are in prison he makes us prosper even though we walk in the valley of the shadow of death he makes us to prosper even though we walks through the waters or through the floods or through the fire he causes us to prosper so that math celiac he and really this was the testimony whole year god made me to prosper and not only me but god is giving this uh, vision this revelation to you also if you believe that amen salak velak when you say in your prayer amen salak velak he will make you prosper like he made it made joseph a prosperous man a successful man okay that's about salak what about the velak even in uh, isaiah 45 15 he says i that is e a asher e a even i have spoken yeah i have called him i have brought, brought him and he shall he shall make his way prosperous here again uh, the two translation says new american standard bible says he will make his way successful uska kaam safal hoga and here again in hebrew it says ve hetsaliak 
ve h saliak so here again we see here that god is making uh, him prosperous because he says that i even i have spoken yeah i have called him i have brought him and he shall make his way prosperous so god will make our way prosperous and next then i started searching for valak what is the meaning of valak and to my astonishment i found a very beautiful meaning of the valak that lack word that uh, meaning of that lack word is moisture freshness vigor and we know deuteronomy 34 7 and moses is the son of 120 year when he died his eyes has never become dim nor he has his moisture fled and in hebrew if we read we see here leko or the the root word is lack so leko is the root word is lack and we see from here that he will bless you but not with a dry blessing he will make you a very wet kind of blessing that that is soaked with his blessing and here is the example of the great man of god moses bible says that nor had his moisture fled he was at the age of 120 year he was as young as he was in, in the 40s so god will make us to prosper and that prosperity the blessing he will give us is a flourishing blessing that is wet with his amen salak velak blessing and here in hezekiel also it is said i have dried up moist tree and i have caused the dry tree to flourish and the word flourish or moist is used here is lack in in red color here the hebrew scripture portion is lack may god bless you i am sharing this dream only to tell you that when you say this word amen salak velak when god gave me this vision amen salak velak whenever i pray for somebody i use this word amen amen means you know that it shall happen as we are praying as we are believing it will happen but salak means prosperity it means blessing and velak means not a dry prosperity but a blessing that is soaked with his blessing and may yahweh elohim bless you abundantly okay anyone would like to end the session with prayer precious heavenly father i thank and i praise you for your mercy grace thank you lord for answering our prayers thank you for your wonderful teaching thank you for your word lord great are your mercies and great are your blessings we just want to thank and praise you Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Rahul and his family. Lord, you bless them bountifully, and I commit each and every person on this platform, Lord. I cover them with your precious blood, and Lord, thank you for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that is guiding us to learn this holy language, Lord. We just want to thank you and praise you, Lord. As the Father holds, Lord, you hold our hand and lead us through as we are going through this learning, Lord. We surrender everything at your throne, at your grace, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty and matchless name of Yeshua Hamashia, I pray. Amen. Amen. Can you say, everyone, say after me? Amen. Amen. Salak velak. Amen. Amen. Salak velak. Amen. Salak velak. Amen. Salak velak. Amen. Salak velak. Amen. Salak velak.